Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. We're back with some more Fallout 4 modded zombies. Now, um, today I'm thinking we get back into the role of things with the quests and whatnot. I'm feeling like we're about ready to start moving on with quests. But first I gotta drop off on my shiz. Because, you know, how these quests are gonna go. We're gonna go somewhere, we're gonna find a whole lot of junk and we're gonna be too heavy to carry it all. You know. Alrighty. And while we're here, we might as well buy some more 556 and all that fun nonsense. Transfer all of our junk. Uh, transfer any weapons I don't feel like I'm gonna be using here. Like this, I'm probably never gonna use this. I'll never be using those. Um, I don't know when I'll get through that, but I'll get through it eventually. Um, let's see. I don't need any of that. I don't, I don't need any of that. In fact, I don't need half of these hoops, to be honest with you. Alright. Don't mind me, just spamming E here. Okay. Okay. And then uh, let's go buy some ammo here. Come on. Hurry it up. Uh, don't know if we need any 308, but I'm gonna buy some anyways. And I know for sure we need 556. Gonna spam the shit on my E here. Okay. I'm gonna buy some more 308 as well. Because. Alright. And then we're gonna go ahead and repair our shiz and upgrade it, do all that fun nonsense. Okay. See. We can only increase the model C. I'd rather just have uh a... no, I can't even do this now, right? Oh, we're gonna need more shits for that. That's fine though. Nothing to store in there. We'll check and see if we can upgrade anything. But no, we can't. We have no adhesive. I and mean, we need adhesive for literally everything. That's, uh, you know, game requirements and whatnot. Can't make it too easy on me, eh? Alright. At least, at least we got a full set of power armor that we can repair. We need to. Alright. Uh, we are going to... Talk to this person. Which means go. I wish they just had a map thingy. Uh, closest spot, potentially. No. Okay, actually, yes. Remove the map marker. I'm tired of looking at it. Alright. Come on, game. 
Ah, uh, this is technically close, so we'll go here. Oh, fun fact about fun fact about Voltec. Uh, they started the war. And by they started the war, I mean they started the sending, dropping the bombs. That they're the ones who initiated the bomb attack. If you don't, if, if you don't trust that theory, uh, there's a whole video on it. I don't know who it who it's by, but look it up. It's it's really good. It's, I guess I shouldn't call it a fact, it's more of a theory. It, it would make sense that Voltec would start it, you know? Alright, come on. Don't do that. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool. Alright. Oh, you know what? I think I just remember what my name was for... Uh, what, well, one of my character names was for uh, Zenith VR. Uh, eating fetus. Yeah, that's that's a, a character name I came up with. Y'all can't get to me. I'm too fast for you. I would like to be able to get to this building though. Like if I, I was able to do that game, that would be great. Uh, random explosion thingies, maybe. Sounded like it. Uh, again. Let me pass through. Ah, oh, thank you, thank you. Okay. That don't look safe. Come on. I mean, why are you always getting in the way, man? I'm trying to search shit, and you're just trying to freaking get in my way all the time. All right. Beans, none, and a paintbrush. Okay. No, old corner bookstore. That's not where I want to go. I'm trying to figure out how the hell am I supposed to get to this building? God damn it! With all these stupid cutoffs and everything. Here we go. This it. Alright. Don't mind me, just... Knowing everything I can here. Hello, good neighbor. Alright. Go talk to the doc. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Uh huh. Insurance? I'm listening. That's right. Insurance. Personal protection line. You hand over everything you got in their pockets or accident. Mm -hmm. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion plan. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your man. Then, I'm gonna hear a guy replace it with the ghoul, mate. Come on, man. This is me we're 
talking about? Let me tell you something. Mm. No, I just don't say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Maybe. I just I just came here to talk to a doc. I like how all these guards are replaced with feral wolves. That's just great. It means they fall under a certain category. A category of cool that get replaced. A lot of people. You had forgotten about the lonely. May have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. Okay, don't mind me, I'm just checking out all my shits. Here for Amari. She's downstairs. Okay, let's go downstairs. Wherever downstairs is. I guess it's this way. Dr. Amari? Yes. Hola, lady. Isn't a social call. It is not. I'll take all your shits. Kill like the rain. We need your help, Doctor. I need the memories from a man. Kellogg, but he's dead. I know it's asking for a miracle, Omari, but you've pulled off the impossible before. Are you too mad? Putting aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Uh. I mean, technically, the corpse was defiled already. This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the country. Alrighty. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? Uh, here you go. What I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait, that's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Mm, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Yeah. Rain's still so good? Still good right? Possibly. There's no sign of decay, so the tech is probably preserving the tissue, injecting some kind of compound to keep it stable. Mm -hmm. But there's no way to access the memories inside without a compatible port. You're talking about me, right? I'm an old synth. If the Institute built me out of similar parts, we might have an in. There could be long-term side effects. I don't know where to even begin with listing the risks. Don't bother. I don't need to hear them. Plug me in, Doc. All right. We should try plugging you into a toaster next. Fresh toast. <laughs> nice to know that even when I'm about to have a foreign object shoved into my noggin, you <laughs> find new horrible ways to laugh at my expense. Oh, yes. Ready, Mr. Valentine. Just sit down. If I start cackling <laughs> like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. Fusion cells. Nice. I need you to keep talking to me, Mr. Valentine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dying. Are you feeling any different? Nice. Okay, oh, cool. Flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are over. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's uh -huh. a lock on the memories in the implant. All right. Uh. Is there a way to break it? Let me think. The encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we use two? We load both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers. Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host 
while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. Okay. Let's be sarcastic. Nick and I are gonna share a mind. Yeah, I'm not gonna see him in any compromising positions, am I? Yeah, if a smart mouth was all it took to solve problems, we would have found your son by now. Yeah. Uh, no. You won't have to worry about that. The only memories you'll access are the ones in the implant. Okay, cool. Beans. Let's do it. Let's get started. Just sit down over there. You know, I got I gotta be funny sometimes, you know. See you on the other side. See ya, mate. Wow. I guess I have to get out of the power armor for this. Come on. Do it, do it. Do it, do it. Thank you. Alright. Hop into this thing. It's a VR headset. Oh my god. See you on the flip side, doggo. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. Okay. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Cool beans. Cool beans. Mmm, whiteness. The opposite of what is in my mind. Always darkness in my mind. Ah, good. Okay. Appears to be working, oh, cool. Quite cool, cool. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. Okay, so I guess we probably maybe want to go. There. Okay. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. Hold on. I really wish I could run. Right about now. Remember, you are experiencing these memories as Kellogg. She wasn't soft, but uh, disorienting at first. She loved me in any right. way, and she protected me from Dad. He like comic books. That cost her more than a few beatings. And then, oh, I was such a dummy back then. What did I know about how the world worked? I think now she wanted me to kill him. I should have. Instead, people always hoping for something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's not what we're looking worse. for. Sad. There appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. Okay. Right there. Try that one. The thing about happiness is, is you only know you had it when it's gone. I mean, you, you may think to yourself that oh. you're happy. Let me move on. I'll connect you, you to really the next intact it. memory. Focus on that petty bullshit or next job or whatever. Eighty, eighty, eighty. It's only looking back. Okay, here we go. How did you think this was gonna end, Kellogg? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you thought you could just fuck with us, and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. Okay, we'll be in this. Don't mind me just walking through this shiz. Alright. Going through a dead man's memories is always fun, guys. Please do it more often. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. I don't think this is the memory we need. We seem to be getting closer. All right. Try this next I'm not gonna worry about uh, clicking on all of these douches. I I don't really care about them. I just want to get through this. Mr. Here Hayes, we go. I'm glad you decided. I finally ended up in the Commonwealth. I kind of ran out of road. Plus, ah. I'd come to terms with life. I wasn't gonna be stupid enough to get mixed up with caring about other people again. It was just me against the world. Huh. 
and the world had it coming. Getting warmer. Oh, we're getting closer at least. Alright. Ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting with Okay. I was now the Institute's main operator in the Commonwealth. Ah. If they needed something done, they came to me. It wasn't usual for anybody from the Institute to come along on a mission, so this one stood out. I didn't know then who it was we were grabbing from the vault. Of course, neither did they. Even then, I knew it was a mistake leaving him alive. I understood that kind of revenge. No one better. Uh huh. But I was cocky enough to assume I could handle some soft pre war vault dweller, even if he somehow got thawed out. Yeah, At really? Least I know those Institute bastards will soon get what's coming to them, too. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't have to kill the kid. I'm not saying I haven't done it, but uh, I never like to. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess it did remind found me of intact her. When okay. Ready. Yeah, I'm a cold-hearted bastard for sure, but uh, I'll skip through this. Better Alrighty. Story. Is that your son? Sean. It wasn't my it idea to, to settle down with the kid in the middle so of Diamond City. Good news, I think. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But. It was one of the old man's pet projects, so here we were. Me and the kid. Yeah. Like a happy little family. Oh, great. I'm sorry I'm not talking a whole lot here. I'm kind of just letting this go along here, you know. Gotta do this shows eventually. Turned out differently. Alrighty. No going back. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. Uh -huh. This whole setup in Diamond City was part of some elaborate plan of the old man's. Seems obvious now that we were bait for our friend from the vault. Timing yeah. could have been an accident. It's not how the old man works. I wonder if he outsmarted me in the end. Another loose end tied up. Probably. Wasn't my idea to set up okay, so a kid in the middle of diamonds. That's done, I guess. <laughs> I cool beans. Terrible idea, actually. Do I just have to let this roll then? Was one great. Of the old man's pet project, great, 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 so great, great. Here we were. Me and the kid. I don't care. I don't care. Shut it. Shut it. Shut it. I ended up kind of liking it. A reminder of what my life might have been if things had turned out differently. Shut it. I think Bitch. I'm going back. Shut it. I knew it was just temporary. It'd be back to normal business before too long. All right. Can we get out of here now? Can, we, can you pull me out? Kellogg. It's okay. One of these days, you're gonna get your head blown off just barging in here like that. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New okay. for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone rogue. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know Brian Virgil. The cool. The new breed of synths could easily pass as human. Some of them did. Uh-huh. But the coursers... They weren't built to blend in. They were killing machines. Pure and simple. Oh, I'm a killing machine, man. I don't know about them. Stronger and faster than almost any real human. Uh-huh, sure. I'm just glad they were always on my side. Let's see. Here's his file. Wow. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or... Just elimination. Elimination. 
He was working on a highly classified yeah. program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys? Damn. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate and eliminate Virgil. So we must go find Virgil. Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. Ah, uh, poor Sean. Poor, poor Sean. Six eighty-eight, ready to relay with Sean. All right. I hope I see you again soon. Bye. Great. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute because there is no entrance. Yeah. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Uh, I'm ready. leave I'll sleep I, this was an absolute boring of an episode boring episode very boring episode but we gotta do it Slow movements, okay I don't know what kind of side effects relax no I'll be fine it's all right it's the video game I'll be fine oh I'm able to get in my armor so there's that Start over. How are you feeling? Uh, uh, sarcastic. Next time I have to watch someone's life story, I want popcorn. Well, if you're cognizant enough to joke, <laughs> I think we can safely say that you're out of critical condition. Yes. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? Uh, Virgil. There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. W Virgil, that, that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Oh, yes, he Where could. Did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. Well, perfect hiding spot. There to make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. Yes. If Virgil found a way to survive there. You'll have to do the same, if you're going to follow him. Oh, I will. Oh, I'm going in naked. Fingers crossed I get superpowers. I know you're joking, <laughs> but as a doctor, I feel obligated to remind you that unprotected radioactive exposure will only kill you. Dead. D-E-A-D. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Sure you find a way to get through there? I'm gonna be sarcastic all the time now. Alright. Why not have heard of Mr. Boucher Boucher go? You know, Mr. Nick Valentine. Did he just go home? That son of a bitch, he left me here. Hello. Hey, Irma. The memory den's not accepting new clients right now, sweetheart. Are you sure? Hey, Valentine. Hope you got what you were looking for inside my head. <laughs> That was right. I should have killed you when you were on ice. Ah, uh, Kellogg. You wanna try for round two? Let's go! What? What are you talking about? You sounded like Kellogg just then. Did I? Huh. Mari said there might be some mnemonic impressions left over. Yeah. Anyway, I feel fine, so let's get going. Uh... You're There's risk. something wrong with you, Nick. I don't want you with me. I told you I'm fine. But I get it. Going through Kellogg's brain was a doozy. I'll be in diamonds. Okay, cool beans. Hey, Valentine. Time to hit the road? Uh. Uh-oh. Not now. Well, I'll be around. Uh, I'm just trying to see if he has any more Kellogg lines. He probably does, maybe. I'll head out of here. And off to the glowing sea. Off to the glowing sea. Off to the, off to, off to the glowing sea. Get the game with a load. Get the game with a load.
I don't remember ever placing a custom destination, but okay, game. I'll uh, go into the... Let's see, where exactly? I guess over here, where's the closest spot we have? Uh... Honestly, I can get to it from there. I don't feel like crossing rivers. Not today. Alright. Yeah, 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 dog me, you can shut it. I would like to be able to actually destroy those things and search them, but that's not gonna happen. Oof. I wonder why they call it the glowing sea, is it because it's constantly irradiated over here? That's gotta be it, right? It's like... Constant radiation storm and all that. And in case that any of you are unaware, this is pretty much like right where the bombs hit. Bombs hit right here. Yep. Bad. Ouch. Oof. By ouch, I mean itchy, itchy beard. Okay. I'm just surprised I haven't found any more shiz. We had a level up that I was unaware of. Okay. Oh, let's see, I feel like maybe getting in some... Actually, no. That's, we're using more automatics than not automatics, so. I'll come around here, search places like this. I don't know what those traps would have uh, caused, but probably something down here. I don't know what those traps would have tripped besides anything down here, which doesn't look to be the sort at all. Oh boy. Okay. Two shot institute defender. Okay then. Cool. Cool, cool. Elevator. Okay, so that door is broken, so that means we must use the elevator. Alright. Now, let's check, take a look at this two shot. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. That guy did not look fun to deal with. I would not want to be him. Alrighty. Eedy, eedy, eedy. Yes, let's head up here. Fusion core. Alright, and then let's continue our search to find a virtual. Uh, there's- oh, I know what that is. I know exactly what that is. Alright, 
We are exactly how far away from Virgil? Okay. Cool beans. Don't want to go in that water. I do, however, want to take some shots at all of these guys. Ha 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 ha. This game. Alright, we're probably gonna wanna take some rat away. Uh, rat away, rat X. And not a stealth boy, I don't know what I'm taking a stealth boy for. I meant to take a sim pack. Alright. Oh, did you know the weird thing? Like, you don't exactly absorb radiation through the air, you absorb it through your skin. It's like, you know, any radioactive dust or anything like that, that falls on your clothes, on your face, whatever. That's what'll actually kill you. And that's why you're usually contacted, contracted, and that's why you see all these little tiny glowy bits running around all over the place around here. Well, these guys, they just, uh... Oh, jeez, look at all of this. Doc Meat, what are you doing walking through there? You're gonna die. Damn this dog. Yeah, he does not think. Uh... I need help. Do you seek division? Have you come to merge with Atom, to be split in his infinite glory, or do you seek to tear down his followers? Uh, I'm just looking for someone named, someone named Virgil. Yes, we know this Virgil. What do you want with him? Uh... I need his help reaching the Institute. I have heard of this Institute. They hide themselves, trying to avoid the power of Atom. A futile effort. In truth, huh? this Virgil has caused some concern. Some believe his presence is an affront to Atom. Though uh -huh. he came to trade with us on a few occasions, we have had little other contact with him. It was quite clear he wanted to be left alone. You can find him southwest of- uh -huh. Southwest of this crater. Okay, cool beans. Well then, let's go southwest. Till they broke him before him. Alright. Let's see, hopefully, maybe, hopefully, maybe, most likely not, maybe, we might even encounter some death claws here. If the game allows it. But I highly doubt it, because their ghouls have replaced pretty much everything here. I would like to be able to get up here, game. 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 Thank you. Come on. Are you telling me there's like only one way out of this thing? And it's not the way I tried? How does one get out? Oh, okay, I think I see. I see. We must go southeast before we can go southwest. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Oh boy. Maybe this is why they call it the glowing sea. All this shit. Okay. Alrighty. Yee 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 yee. Running through radioactive shiz. Hoping to find uh not barrel tools but death claws instead. And I dumped that motherfucker. Look at him. I'll take those. Alright. 
Oh mommy, I'm just walking through this shit to try and find my friend. Not really my friend, but my new make a new friend. Yeah, let's go make a new friend. Sorry, dog meat, I shot you a little bit there. Okay. Virgil is just on the other side of the say. in this cave? Okay. Alright, virtual mate, where are you? I wanna talk to you. Hold it. Dig it nice and slow. No sudden moves. Okay. No. Not going to work. Uh -uh. I'm not stupid. I knew they'd send him after me. Bro. I'm just here to talk. That's so. Then talk. Fast. What kind of super mean, buddy? You have information I need. And yet I have no idea who the hell you are. I think we both better start explaining. You start. Okay. I'm just a guy looking for information on the Institute. The Institute? So yeah. They did send you, didn't they? You working with Kellogg. No, I'm not. Relax. <laughs> but Kellogg's been taken care of. Dead. He's dead. Don't yes. lie to me. <laughs> He's dead. There's no question it's difficult to believe. Yeah. Kellogg was ruthless. There's a reason the Institute used him to do their dirty Oh, I don't believe me. I know. I, I, I looked at his memory. After me. Tried to prepare for it. But I still wasn't sure I'd make it. Uh -huh. So you... You killed him, eh? When yeah. When we with me. Uh... You was scalped. How the hell do you know any of that? No, it doesn't matter. I'm not going back. I can't go back. Look at me. Why are you even here? What do you want? I just want information. Whatever information you've got. Anything to help me get into the Institute. I'm sorry, what? You want to get into the Institute? Are you insane? Maybe. mind how nearly impossible that is. Even if you were to succeed, it'd almost certainly end in your immediate death. Oh, I hope it does. Could you possibly have for taking that kind of risk? My son. I'm trying to find my son. The Institute kidnapped him. Oh. Oh no. I had no idea. I'm sorry. Yeah. The Institute has taken people from the Commonwealth in the past. If your son is one of them, I can understand why you'd want to get in there. I can't yeah. help. But I'm going to need something in return. What else do you need, mate? You help me and I'll help you. All right. If I help you, you're going to do something for me. Before I was forced to leave, I was working on a serum to reverse this mutation. It could ah. turn me to normal. You want a 
understand? So if you get in there, I need you to find it in my old office and bring it to me. Oh. I think that's pretty reasonable in exchange for helping you. Agreed. All right? Let's talk details. First things first. You know how synths get in and out of the institute? Yes, teleportation. Yeah, they use some sort of teleporter. Well, well. Not many know about it. Pretty closely guarded secret. You've certainly done your homework. Yes. It's commonly referred to as the molecular relay. Ah. I don't understand all the science behind it, but it works. Dematerializes you in one place, rematerializes you in another. I'm sure it sounds crazy, but it's a reality. The relay is the only way in and out of the Institute. You understand? Yes. The only one. That means you're going to have to use it. Now, have you ever seen an Institute courser? Uh... Sure, lots of them. Don't bullshit me. More than one of them and you wouldn't be standing here right now. Uh-huh, sure. Those are Institute synths designed for one purpose. They're hunters. Operations go wrong, a synth goes missing, and a courser is dispatched. They're very good at what they do, and you're going to have to kill one. Okay, cool. Let's go. Just point me in the right direction. Well, I suppose your enthusiasm counts for something. Well, maybe it's because I'm the most badass person here, apparently. A direct connection to the relay in the Institute. It's embedded in a chip in their heads. You need that chip. Okay. Now, I don't know exactly where you can... Cool. I'm going, uh, I'm going to skip all this. Okay. okay. Let's get to work. Right. Mm -hmm. No. All right. Would you get... Follow the... Not gonna Great, uh, I'm gonna skip all this. This is a lot of bullshit dialogue. Cool, level up. Um, anything blacksmith? Yeah, thinking blacksmith. All right, let's head out of here. Okay. Anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for this episode. Hope you all enjoyed. As always, please leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, whatever. And I'll see you in the next video.